So you saw the previous video about how to connect and set up the IP cameras using an external PoE switch. So now on this video, I will show you how to actually find the IP cameras, how to set the IP address to the cameras, and also how to add them up into your MBR. So now let's begin. So this is how a typical setup will look like when you have IP cameras connected to an external PoE switch. So I'll go over the quick details. So as you see, we have the IP cameras, all of those cables, the network Cat5 cables or the Ethernet cables are connected into the PoE switch. Now on the PoE switch, you have an uplink. That uplink as you guys can see that here, the blue cable is connected into any available ports into the router. In this location, this will be your business router, your ethernet, or your home network. Then from the router, I have another ethernet cable that is connected into the back of my MBR. This MBR has built-in PoE ports if I wanted to, I can connect the IP cameras into here, but I'm showing you guys how to set them up using the external PoE switch. So this is how it is. You have a Cat5 cable from the MBR going into your router. And then from your router, you have another cable that will be connected into the uplink of the PoE switch. And then all of the cables from the PoE switch will be connected into your IP cameras. And that is how you connect all the IP cameras using an external PoE switch. So now let's begin with the configuration. Now that you have connected your MBR to your network, let's make sure the MBR obtain an IP. Go into the menu, go into settings, and then under network, select TCP IP. Make sure it has obtain an IP address automatically checked on. If you have this, then you will see the IP address. Now this is the IP address of your MBR, 192.168.1.146. Now we need to find available IP addresses for the IP cameras. The IP cameras IP should be almost identical to this, it should be at least 192.168.1 dot and then any other number from 1 to 254 so now let's get the IP addresses for the IP cameras for this you need a laptop now go to the nearest computer that is connected into the same router in this case I got this laptop connected to that router via wireless so now, let's begin the process on the laptop. In your keyboard, you're going to press Window R and then the run window should appear. You will type CMD and press Enter and the command window should appear. Now let's check your IP address. You will type IP config. As you guys see, it's very similar to your MBR's IP. The only difference is that this number is different. But you have the same set of numbers as your MBR. So now, we need to ping a different IP. Right now, your IP address is 147. Let's type, as an example, 150. We will put ping. The IP address will, will be 150. If you get destination host unreachable, it means that you are able to use this IP for the IP camera. If you get this type of reply, for example, you get a reply that looks very similar to this, that means a device is using that IP address in your network and you cannot use that. So now we already know that IP address 150 is available. So now let's type 151, 
151 is also available. Let's type 152. One fifty two is also available. Now let's type the last one. One fifty three. If you get all the IP address that you ping destination host host unreachable, that means you can use those IPs. So now we are going to copy these two settings, the subnet mask and the default gateway, because we're also going to assign it to the IP cameras. So on the IP cameras, we will put the IP address as an example 192.168.1.150, 151, 152, and 153 with the same subnet mask and the same default gateway. Now let's go over the MDR settings. Once you already found the available IP addresses in the laptop, now let's add them to the IP cameras. Go into the menu, select settings, and then under camera select add camera this window will appear the MDR will automatically find all IP cameras on the network as you see they all have the default IP we need to change that for example we will select the pencil icon and provide the IP camera to the with the IP address that we copy from the laptop the one that was available the first one was that one that 150 and then the same subnet mask and the same default gateway 1.1 one one. let's select ok now we're going to the next one same settings the IP address is 151 same gateway that one that one now the third one 152 that one that one and the last one 1153 one, and 1.1 one. it may take like 20 to 30 seconds for the IP address to be updated as you see already IP address 150 and 151 is already been updated. If you don't see this updated within 20 to 30 seconds, you can exit the menu and then you can go back into it. Menu, settings, and add camera. And you see all of the IP addresses are already updated. You can add one by one or select all and then add. And then the MDR automatically add your cameras. And that is how you add and configure the IP cameras into your MDR using an external PoE switch. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, follow us on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and remember, I'll always be there. <laughs>